Welcome to Smart Hits. I'm Simon Moker, and in this episode, we're gonna do a, a review on a vaporizer. I got the V4 Plush, and it's a dry herb vaporizer. It heats up pretty quickly. It's really lightweight and uh, has a really nice draw resistance. Uh, and we're gonna have a look at this vaporizer. We're gonna vape some from it. And yeah, we're gonna see what, what's in the box. So let's have a closer look. All right, so this is the V4 Plush. Let's have a look. Of course, it comes with a user manual, user guide. It also comes with a grinder card, always handy. The vaporizer itself. And of course, a pack with accessories. Right, let's have a look. So this is the vaporizer itself. Looks a bit like a, a remote control. It's quite light, really light to be honest. It's also one of the features. This is the mouthpiece you need to uh, get off to fill up uh, the chamber. You can see it's quite a big chamber. It fits a lot of herbs. And uh, they have these magnetic points here so you can snap it back on and it won't fall off or get lost. So that's really good. Um, the mouthpiece here got a glass tube. So you, when you take a hit, you will take a hit from glass or at least have the vapor uh, internally go through glass instead of this plastic. So that's really good. You do get a, a spare one of these with it. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Let's have a look at the spare parts and then we're going to see how we can fire this one up. So you get a charging cable. Charging cable is micro USB. You probably have a lot of these. Comes with a package with some tools, a tweezers or pliers, a cleaning brush, a little dab tool or uh, yeah, yeah, dab tool, you can call it that. And of course, the replacement part for the mouthpiece. So I can quickly show you, just get it out, get a new one in. It only can go in one side, uh, so you can't mess it up. So that's like that, easy. Oh, yeah. You can put it in the wrong way, so be careful you don't break it. All right, let's put it to the test. I'm gonna put these accessories on the sides. Oh yeah, of course, also an adapter for USB. Uh, I do have to say they sent me a USA adapter. Uh, I'm in Europe, so I can't use this one. You still can use a computer or any other USB uh, device uh, to charge it. Uh, when charging, it will have a red, uh, yeah, a red glowing light that will pulse until it's full and then it will go green. So there's an LED light in here. So I could maybe show you quickly. I got a laptop over here. So it's probably already uh, already charged, but ah, there you go. So now it's charging. Never operate or heat heat the vaporizer while it's charging. That's really important. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, let's heat this one up. First off, I'm gonna put some herbs in the chamber. Let's see, we got some nice fine grinded herbs over here. Don't fill the chamber too uh, tightly. Just tap it gently like that. There we go. Right, so we got the chamber filled up. 
put this piece around it. There we go. It goes a little bit in, so it seals it off perfectly. Like all the vaporizers or most vaporizers, you need to press the on and off button five times. And the on and off button is here on the side. So this is the front, this is the back, uh, this are the sides. So we press it five times, one, two, three, four, five. And it will go on and we'll give five red uh, LEDs. Um, every LED is, uh, uh, how you call it, a temperature level. So the lowest one is 180 degrees, 190 degrees is the second, uh, 200, 210 and 220 degrees. In Fahrenheit, that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 374 Fahrenheit, 392 Fahrenheit, 410 Fahrenheit, and 428 Fahrenheit. Uh, and as you can see, it just heated up to the highest uh, possible heating level, and that's 428 Fahrenheit. So, or 220 Celsius. Um, I can smell it already, so it's heating up. Um, yeah, you can also, how we call it, uh, uh, change the temperature settings by holding the button. And you can see that it starts to, uh, yeah, to cycle through the, the temperatures. Um, when it's green, it's, it's, that, it's at that temperature. So you can see now that it's uh, one below the two, so it's now 210 degrees because the, the upper one is red. Uh, so if I would say, yeah, I would want it to be 200, I would let loose at the third option, 300 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Celsius, I mean, that's uh, 392 Fahrenheit. And as you can see, it will light up green, which means that the temperature is reached. All right, so let's, uh, let's have a vape. All right, let's have a tote. Mmm. A lot of taste. <coughs> oh wow, that's some strong stuff. But um, a really lovely draw resistance. As uh, you need to take like slow puffs. I have a feeling there's a lot of vapor coming out and that's really good. A lot of vapor for small puffs. Hmm. Ooh. Getting all sweaty. Oh, there you go. The vaporizer just uh, shut off. It does that after five minutes. So you can see now it, uh, the temperature dropped and it's now heating up again. There we go. And we're back at the right temperature. So this thing heats up really, really quickly. And uh, that's... Uh, a really nice thing to be honest. If we could compare it to my crafty, uh, crafty heats up really slowly compared to this. So if you really want to have a quick vape, uh, don't wait too long. Uh, this is an ideal, ideal uh, vaporizer.
It does get a bit hot over here in the top part. But if you keep it in your hand like this and you look like that, it's perfect. It's perfect indeed. Lovely. Also, the taste is really nice. There's not a, a strong plastic or, or a machinery taste. Before using it, I did have, like, uh, always when I get a new vape, I just talk from it without, uh, without it being on for the first time. You always have this, uh, yeah, a bit of a chemical plastic taste from, uh, from vaporizer itself. But as soon as you put uh, some herbs in there, that was gone. So it was not lingering. So that was also really nice. Lovely for vapes. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the V4 Plush. Uh, I'm very positive about it. Uh, it's not the most expensive vaporizer. It's not also the cheapest one. Uh, it's a bit in the middle segment uh, and it performs really, really well, uh, I think. Heats up quickly, it's uh, easy to use, it's lightweight. I also really like how they uh, uh, manage the, the controls. Sometimes these controls of some vaporizers are just really uh, hard to work with. Um, uh, this is easy and uh, clear, so that's a, that's a big plus. Only thing I found, uh, yeah, uh, was a bit uh, disappointing was that it doesn't didn't have a European charger. But maybe this having just the wrong one, uh, that could be the possibility there. But apart from that. Really nice vaporizer. All right, thank you all for watching. There's a link in the description where you can get one. Uh, it's just been released uh, since a week or two, something like that. So have a look at their website, order one if you want. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, bye-bye.